Now Denmark, Britain and an alien planet provide the setting for David Rudkin's dramatic new film, Artemis 81. those fragments of you in that sea 
Why did I not leave you where you were? Von Drachenfels. Who? Albrecht von Drachenfels. I'm sorry, darling. You'll have to clue me in. The crazy organist. Stage name, of course. Looks very haunted. Laura and I once actually saw him play. He improvises blindfold, monstrous music, spits blood on the keys, the lot. A real throwback. Now there's a figure we must have in a film. If only we can find a story. Dr. von Drachenfels? I am right. I'm sorry. I intrude. Forgive me. things on you. Hmm? Last night I left my pills in the car. You went on the car deck? What does Dragonsville want on the car deck at 2 a.m.? His pills too. We're all the same drug culture. I saw him walk aboard at Esbia. He doesn't have a car on board. I should check your boot. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> How English can you get? Ooh. What did you want to say to me? You are a musician? I try to be a musician, yes. Who are you? Gwen... Meredith. Meredith. M. E. You play the organ? I try. I study to. You are too retreating as a person. You are the giant in my world. I wanted to ask... It was only an excuse to talk to you about that text. I don't know whether you play that. One work only I never play. The so-called Toccata and Fugue in D minor of Bach. Mm -hmm. Bombast. The day I play that, the torturers have cut my brain. You smile and are sad. My, uh, I have a, a man I know feels something like that. Gideon. He's an author, very exact with words. If ever he has to utter a false confession, he says he'll begin... I address you on this media due to my desire... deliberate bad grammar for some to hear. This cannot be his true self speaking. Who is this true self? He's an author. Oh. Him. You love this man, and his words are shaping yours. 
About what does he write? The paranormal and the unexplained. Novels. He's very successful. Carl Nielsen Camosio. What did you wish to ask me? There seem errors in the text. Um, for instance, the C in the base. Surely that should be sharp. And these others, natural? And the D's, the same pattern. I saw the manuscript in Denmark. That's not what he wrote. But what he means. His own good grammar, yes? Cancer was eating him, he wrote in haste. I've not played this in years. Perhaps I should now. Thank you, Gwen. Music to take me from the earth. At this great final harmony. Miss Meredith, have you a car on board? I'm making for Liverpool, if that's... No, no, no. Visit me. Soon. I invite you. And bring a work to play for me. Yes. When face your giants, each day I face mine. That arrogance where true humility begins. Arrange this. The moment you are home, I wish this. Also, your... This... Gideon, bring him to. Soon, Gwen. Soon. Remember me. What was all that about? feeling. A ship empty. I alone. We're so behind. No one can help the fog of the North Sea. So much for making Dartmoor while the daylight lasts. We need to get to Belfast yet. Another ferry? Mm. Poor man. We're all late now. Sure I can't offer you a lift? No, honestly. <laughs> oh, well. What horror is this you've made me do? What hell let loose on thee? And on the earth. And am I free?
is this? Fog? Customs? No, I shan't stay over. I want to get stuck in on that script for Sonia. My chance to show them all I'm alive. And kicking. Curious thing, on the ferry. You know who I saw? Uh, six or seven hours, I reckon. I'll be there before light. No, don't wait for me. I'll feel I have to hurry. Well, you know what I mean. Sorry, Laura, there's some sort of old woman out here. I think she wants me off the line. See you. talking to me still to come. Thank you. 
Where is your life, Gideon? bit morbid, Gideon, isn't it? I'm a writer. I collect these things. What are you letting me in for, Gwen? Is this what you're going to play him? B double flat. Why not A? A B flat value is depressed. You touch the A key. Mechanical coincidence. Drakenfels. Preposterous name. He said, through the village. We should be near the sea. he's built. I thought only the organ at Axon Castor Abbey. 
I hear nothing. She hears. Gideon, the sounds are holding her. Trust sounds I cannot hear. They're in the air. I'll get the department to make you an ultrasonic whistle, your personal magic flute. Come on. Oh. Oh. That I hear. You're sure he said... Miss Mr. Harlins? Dr. von Drakenfels is delighted you have come. Gwendoline and Gideon? Who would use bad grammar if he must speak false? Someone has been describing me. I'm no musician, sir. An honor to meet you. The instrument of my trade, quite like yours, I discover. Keyboard, touch. Ever quiet. A simple act. A total change of voice. Type style, voice. Nice metaphor. Well, always the same word, Gideon. Always the same word. On your machine, not so. There can be variations. If I type in italic, for instance, my oblique stroke key comes up with a sharp sign. I must leave you two to be musicians. A prisoner in his own nature. The ancient Greeks said such a man was in the thrall of Artemis. But love shall rise. Since you returned from Denmark, you are well? Why, yes. Truly? When I got home, I felt a terrible depression. I wanted suddenly to end my life, but that I love him. Good.
tell it me. This ending, not so expressive. After the strato, entry on entry. Complexity is so awesome. Yet all we must hear is elegy. Till at this ending, coldness, stillness, all pain contained, even perhaps so. Fearful joy. death we die, that ends. Also that death whose grave bonds form around us as we live. Once long ago, I heard in me a voice, he is dead, speaking of me, my true self, telling. Then, love surprised me in my astonished heart. Sorry. I would offer hospitality, but... And Gwen must not be said. 
What I do, I do to make you free. Remember me. He said, I must speak alone with the composer only. I am not one born to tell the world. Gwen? So, if I had thoughts of being another Gillian Weir... I've not expected anything so absolute. I don't understand it. Not what he said. Something... He's still the musician, but something's changed. I left the music. It's... It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. You didn't forget the music. He made a point of keeping it. That seems irrational. You did well. I had to speak true. Allow me still that. But it was perfect. She will wish to forget you. The mischief of your encounter on the ferry is undone. Separate rooms. prisoner here, yet she lives. While you obey, Gideon, why are you afraid of feeling? I am a man of deep feeling. How else could I write? In your life. As though as though when you first opened your eyes, the light of this world so burned you. Gwen, love, why this attack? Not an attack. Oh, Gideon. Did you once feel? Were you so cauterized?
Gideon. What is your pain? I have no pain. As you watch this man, remember, from his sick fear of falling, the woman he loved has hurtled from the tower to her death. She returns from the dead, or is this she? We should be warned. Here is no reality. Yet we would dream. He takes her in his arms. Now, see. Supreme gesture of all art. The camera, moral eye, encircling them. Slow vertigo engulfing us. Also, the camera consecrates. It tells us we do right to dream and for our sanity must learn to fall. background changes. We are in the tower. Miracle. That fatal moment is restored to him. This time, he shall look down and not be shaken. This time, his love shall live. We are not in the tower. We are in the here and now. The perfect circle that seduced us brings us home into the real. And who is she? What is her reality? We are in the world. All questions still to answer.
You really love old Hitchcock, don't you? Read him right, all you need to know is there. About being whole. Sees the world from a distance only. Dragged down into commitment. Refuse commitment. The cost. Mauled by elemental powers we ignore. Set our lives in an unreal direction. A hound from heaven shall come. Our moral order must be hewn from nature. Not imposed upon it. Fail. And all our self is lost. Poor Jed Thaxter. To read it all so clear. And yet be so unwhole. I'm a dead man, Gideon. I hear this voice in my head. He's dead. I even catch myself saying it aloud. He's dead. Jed's dead. My true self telling me. My feelings for anything human all dried up. Only a 360 shot from vertigo can bring the living water to my eyes. I'm cauterized. Jed. Being gay is not the end of the world. Is it? These days... Forget it. One law eternal in the world. Such men whose tenderness I need for what their nature is. But that same nature can't need me. Fact. Might make a writer of you, though. The experience. Think how clear the eyesight of a stranger in the earth. What's this? German film? Danish. Gideon? An image. For you to use. And from the real world. Really haunts me what that man did to himself. This place near. Miles of his route. So far from home. Old man and woman brought up here from Southampton to identify their son. Very bleak. He chooses Westwater, grimmest of the lakes. North, north as he can find, to go and wait. Sat smiling, cap in hand, for ice to come. Don't we all? You see the world too much as image of yourself. Don't pick it. All that labor to be born. Bluebell. What, in September? Actually, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It seems so old. Flowers are growing smaller in our pollution. Know that? According to Ehrlich, all creatures that live on effluent and waste are waxing large. The house fly shall weigh down the rose. Our acids blow northeast to burn the Scandinavian forests, even as we speak. This seems so innocent of that.
sad you can't stay. Live novelist. Stir the English department up a bit. Back to the anvil, sorry. <clears throat> Bloody book. Don't you feel self-conscious driving this? Why? Looks like a Saracen tank, parading the ghetto of the world. It's just alienated. Strange about Denmark. What? Nothing. Give my love to Hitchcock. Take mine. Take care. Did you hear from Drakenfels at all? Your music. Why has he kept it? He wants us to go back. I'm sure of it. You go on your own. I understand that. No, I do. If I were to call by on him, as it were, can uh, can I go in your van? Well, my bargain, it does announce me, rather. It can't be Friday. I have to go out to the tower. Site meeting with my architect. Though I could. Great. Thanks, Gwen. See you soon. So what are you going to do when you get there? I don't know. What's this? Try it on Drakenfeld's dog. I promised. I had it made for you.
Dr. Drakenfels. Ah, this fugue on which you have been so diligently working, when am I to hear you play it? It is for your concert at Axencaster, is it not? The things you collect. <sighs> the life of a man. Do forgive me. I have a problem. How many letters in the Greek alphabet? In literature, epigraphic, including Kofa, Sampi, and Digamma 27. But in the literature, these are extinct. Then there's Arcado Cyprian Age. I can read some Alpha, A, P, T, R, T. Artemis. Isn't that a space program? The goddess. Oh, yes. The virgin huntress. That's one of her guises. In the Bible, she's Diana of the Ephesians. Wild and cruel. A tower-headed mother who demanded self-castration from a man. Also, she is the moon. She hatches each new creature into being. Her arrows are the shocks and pangs of birth. Virginity, castration, pregnancy, all the one goddess. One of the enigmas of Greek religion. So many contradictions in her. The church simplified her to the Virgin Mary. Her Celtic name was Morgan the Fay, enchantress and witch. And to the Norsemen she brought fertility. Or death, when angered. The Magog of the dead. Look, 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 look. Be good enough. Write out all these Greek letters for me with their English values. Which values? Academic or demotic? Or beta, for instance. You want B or V? Or mu P for B as in modern Greek? And what am I to do with Omega? Excuse me. Nothing is simple.
you said you could help me. I've, um, I've never actually thought of music saying anything before. I'm afraid I'd rather use it to keep the world out. But, madam, I, um, I've slept rough in my girl's, in my wife's van. I haven't washed. Madam, I, I'm the wrong sex. I mean, you're the wrong sex. Uh, I mean, for me. Madam, I... You are not supposed to smoke in here. Young man, if you must fantasize, do so elsewhere. Hey. My fugue! My Greek! My bro! I've come to loathe my husband, Mr. Harnix. I mean, physically be revolted by him. I could look at him and think only of the functions. Where we have been once so bodily enthralled. Your husband made that. That was the shock film of his generation. The waves of it reached even me in my teens. That was then. Since the slow grind into decline, helpless I despised him for it. For him I'd sacrificed any creative hopes I might have had. Oh, he was what you would call a good provider. I'll have to sell this place. It's unkind of me to burden you with this. Irrational. It is irrational that I am here. You say there is a pattern to his death. But not such pattern as you mean. I... I believe your books are very nearly true. But that at the last, they are mistaken. The pattern is not demonic, supernatural outside us. The energy and waste of it is in ourselves. So what larger logic do you see now in your husband's drowning? On the phone, you described it to me as a senseless act. Well, on the surface, yes. He was in a very positive state of mind. The last time he spoke to me. He'd just landed from Denmark, setting up a film. Suddenly, he was full of projects. He'd seen a famous musician on the ferry, old organist. Thought he could exploit him in a horror story. No. 
Deep in him, my husband was already dead. The pattern is not of angels, nor of dark powers moving us, intervening in our world, controlling us. It isn't what we learn from what happens to us, from what is real. How we grow wiser for it. How we grow. I think that Tristram somehow encountered in himself that deeper wisdom. He was dead. And so his suicide was true. Do you grieve for him? For him. That was so undone a man. Yet I rejoice that at the last he proved so true. Now, day by day, the blackness of his death diminishes. And I await from it the flash of a new white star. All my bad history, I'm free of it. I'm given a new future. I must use it bravely. The book of the true pattern. Use it right. The images in themselves tell us nothing. It is we must look at these and recognize, as with our dreams, a good card. He mows down all that is sick to be reborn. A good card. Such balance. So serene. And the head not ruling over much, if this way up. Beware the world. Beware the angry moon. Beware the tower. Always the same word, Gideon. Always the same word. On your 
machine not so. M key. A key. Magog. I've got the story. What? Where are you speaking from? Keg Uffer. Where? Keg Uffer, North Wales. Where I always come. Learn to pronounce it. Kergifern. Hell's Mouth. Listen, I'm scrapping the book. This is the story. The man's disturbed. Who? Drakenfell. What's it a pagan relic so compelling? He must have fantasies of stealing her. Lurking, he says, in the Esberg Museum till after dark, smashing her glass case and making off with her. Then a new dark stranger shadowing him so frightens him, he cancels his flight and comes home by sea. How you met him? When? On the ferry. Sudden waking vision. Himself burned at the stake, choking, buried alive, falling through space. So he says he shatters her. Five fragments of Magog. He even describes them. Black wooden cart, hands, feet, head. In his shiny cabin sink. Classic hallucination, that. So vivid. Passed out, he says. Came to, around him everywhere, vehicles stacked. Car deck, 2 a.m., fragments of the goddess gone. Of course they were gone. But he's not free of them. Oh, no. Back home at Dunstyke, the sinister angel from Denmark has arrived before him, masquerading as the wife's new doctor. I thought it was Drakenfels' agent. Dark, pale man. Drakenfels is haunted. Drakenfels is haunted, all right, but Gwen, be rational. I mean, it all goes back to Mrs. D, doesn't it? In a day, it seems, a great Wagnerian singer. You know that. Now a living dead in some sort of sterile unit. Perhaps the glass museum case reminds him of that. Excite all his morbid guilt in a condition, I don't know. Some deep problem. What interests me? I can take his hallucination and match it up with something actual from my coincidence file. It's the pattern I've been looking for. What a narrative scheme. Real lines of force. I've only four suicidal acts so far. He has five fragments. But four is neater. Gwen? Why are you telling me this? Why? But you gave me this story, love. You involved me with the man. I owe the book to you. I'll dedicate the book to I gave you something else. Much you valued that. What? Something I had made for you. 
You left it in my car. Silly little gift. Foolish, really. Gwenville.
the strangest feeling. The last twilight of the earth. Be there. Be there. Miss Meredith. I'm sorry. Well, sorry. can you get a message to her? It's very urgent. To stay clear of her cut. Listen. To stay clear of her car and on no account. Repeat the name again. Meredith. Gwen Meredith. M. E.
Gauss, Gideon, Gideon, that is your name. You were asleep so long, I mean, days, weeks you were asleep. I had to be a father to you, or myself. You are Gideon, a writer of books. You were working in your dormobile on a cliff top across that sea. Your van blew up. You do not remember? What is the matter? Cold. Cold? What is that? Cold. I am not of your earth. I do not know this cold. It is to kill this dragon for all her power to flow in man and man to live while he, my brother of the night, would have the dragon go on living to devour. Men here won't die so soon. It is the sea. Here should be my mother's village. Here she should lie at peace. Somewhere here, an older place. Here is where my mother must be brought to lie. It is her resting place. Gideon, remember that. You move. You walk. You stand. So... So... I am... 
a lame man. I am... This... shore... it is so lovely. All this place. And you. Can we stay here? Always. Gideon, Gideon, wake. Oh, Gideon, my love, wake up. Put on your child. You must leave now. It is time. Where are we going? Across the water to a city that my brother has made sick. Then I shall catch the sickness too. You had this sickness once. You are immune. Why must we go? My brother drives us out. Your coat. Without it, you shall feel. What is it? Cold. Helleth? Yes. You make no picture in the glass. That's right. We will come back, though. We do come back. Give it to Venom. 
Please, I'm sorry. Man in white, the golden hair. Please, sir, have you seen... Savu? Savu? Have you seen a man? Bless you! Bless you! Please, please, have you seen a man all dressed in white? <laughs> your language. I wish to make practice in your beautiful English language. For you, you... It's something I must tell to you. You are in danger. Something I must say you. Cathedral. 
Sacre Cathedral tomorrow, the big church. What city is this? What country am I in? So hungry. I dream this. I wake soon. By the sea. Oh, the sea. <laughs> 